Hey guys, welcome back for some more Resident Evil. Um, wait, did I see? Yeah, I think so. Before I, um, go back to the area where that snake door is, I want to actually burn that zombie up before he turns into a crimson head. I'm going to go down this hallway and check those doors all the way down to end to make sure. To double check. If when these doors have the uh, armor key, I can't really remember. I always forget what the doors have. Okay, that's a helmet one. So the helmet is basically after this. I wonder what that red herb is for. I wonder if it's for poison. Wait. Never mind. Oh, Freaking dunder. All right. Let me get that lighter. And that uh, got that can of. You call it. Make sure it's filled up. There's only a little bit of kerosene left. I hope that zombie did not turn yet into a crimson. You know what? Oh, we're down here. He's ready to fall apart. Uh, not yet. Oh yeah, right before I do that, let me go burn that zombie and I'll be right back in a moment. But I think that hallway down there probably has an armor. And not gonna lie though, this mansion, whoever's on this, Spencer, he's doing too good for himself. Hey there, Richard. Oh, uh, I hope it's not too late. Oh, thank goodness he didn't turn yet. Sweet. Let's go burn him. Make sure he's gone. I want to check out this room, see if they got anything special. And plus, I need a lighter too. To light up that, I guess, the fireplace or whatever was in here. I think there's like a uh, candle, yep. Oh, shoot. Ah, oh, he got me. Get off of me. Oh, the musical score. Awesome. I wonder if there's something else in here. Dang it, I was going to push it against the uh, doorway. I think there was some ammo in there, like some um, shells. I'm going to double check when I heal up. Actually, you know what? Hold on a second. I should probably grab some herbs while I'm at it. Or heal using that spray.
Man, I hope we have enough. Oh, screw it. I'll use one outside. Oh man, he ran out. I mean, you don't need it at the moment. I'll keep the lighter just in case we gotta light anything in the, you know, any fireplace or anything like that. Okay, he ran out of that stuff. Great. I mean, it wouldn't hurt to kill it in the room. Alright, time to face this thing. Oh man. Dang man, freaking chug. Alright, I'm done with little now. Shows on line of the glass. Huh. Could have sworn there were shotgun shells in here. Maybe I think about another room. Oh well. That was a waste of ammo. Well, since we get that musical number, I'm probably gonna go to the uh, the hallway where the first zombie was. So I think that's where the music room is. But before I go there, I'm gonna go down into this hallway with the broken door. I wonder if it has any, um, the armor. But for try, I'll give it a shot. Oh, crap! Oh! Yo, it just keeps getting worse. It's like a puzzle. A picture of a sage wearing a necklace set in red stained glass. And there's a switch here. Press it. Let's not do that. Oh man, I wonder what's the I know it's a puzzle. I don't know if I should save just in case if I die. Make sure I don't wear a bracelet. Let's try it. Make sure the valent has turned orange.
Hmm, should we turn it, um... Sure, the stage just turned deep red. Do we keep changing color? Turn to a different color. I'm probably gonna mess up a lot. Oh, I see. Do we match the colors of the light? Alright, it's running a crown. Alright, the picture of it. Let's turn pure white. At least it's protected by three spirits. Wait, a green crown, purple necklace, and a red bracelet. Okay. I see it now. That's not pressing yet. Okay, I see. Okay, hold on. We're gonna turn this crown... Green. Okay, it's orange. I think it was pure white. Turn orange. Man, this puzzle's a little confusing. There we go. The necklace. All right, it's purple. Perfect. Last but not least in the uh, bracelet. Nice. Now we're gonna press the button. Open sesame. And lucky for us, they have plenty enough uh, space. And this is the mask. Now the good news, we do not have to go into that hallway. That enter to that room. Yeah, we're going to put this mask down there. Man, this game freaking makes me so freaking nervous, man. Let me see what type it is. Alright, it looks like he uh, has like a skull visible on the bottom. This one? No, it's different. And this one here, let's check that. There we go. Alright, two more masks to go. Oh shoot, hanging down. Alright. Two masks down, two more to go. Now this mansion had to cost probably like millions of millions of dollars to even build this. I 
I tell you, man, I would get confused in this mansion if I brought this. So now we're actually going to do the musical number. Let's go save right now since we're making some progress. Yep, using ribbon. I'll save right here. All right, to the hallway. He would just chill in the hallway, just mind his own business. Enjoying the zombie life. Oh shoot, <laughs> I forgot about that. Ah, screw it. I'll get rid of him. Oh, come on. I have a lighter. Oh, no. He came out. Like I finally decided to come to the doorway. Awesome, another ink ribbon. Expensive looking piano. A fine line. That's oh, not necessary to use now. Maybe not. We came from that way, didn't we? Dang. I know. That's the hallway. <sighs> okay, in here then. Wait, that's not a doorway. For a second, that sounded like a door for some reason. Alright, take the musical score. Just combine it and then put on the piano. She got skills. Now, I played piano back in, like, you know, high school. Wasn't that good at it. Piano you know, class was a bit tricky. Nice. Hidden passage open. Awesome, we got the emblem shield. And Trevor's diary. Eleven days has passed since arriving on his estate. How did it end up like this? A guy on Lacko brought me a Marguerite plate of food and said, Sorry to put you do this, but it's security reasons. That's when it hit me. It all makes sense now. Only two people die and know the secret of this mansion, Sir Spencer and myself. If they kill me, Sir Spencer will be the only person that knows the secret. But for what purpose? It doesn't matter now. It's too dangerous here. My family hope they're alright. I decided to escape. Jessica, Lisa, and I pray you are safe. 
How could I be so careless? I lost my favorite letter, the one Jessica gave me for my birthday. Now it's going to be not much hard to escape this dark place. November 19th. Or 13th. I'm tripping. <laughs> Oh my god, I messed that up. November 13th, my bad. The date when my fate was sealed, my aunt was hospitalized just three days before that. Jessica and Lisa said they were going to visit her. I wish I could be there with them. I can read that says later. Oh, I know what I had to put there. It makes sense now. Let me put that back. We're going to go back to the safe room and then grab that uh, fake shield. I'll be right back in a moment. Ah, oh, shoot. Get off me. Grab me, creep. I should have been took that shield. But basically, I was forced to kill that zombie. When well, I didn't kill it, but fortunately, I had to get hit by it. Let's go head upstairs. Get to the safe room and then grab that shield. And then we'll be back to where we were. Oh, wait. What the freak am I doing? I meant this way. A stupid camera thing. Oh, you know what? I can, just, I can just cut through here. All right, let's go grab that shield. Back to my nice cozy little hideout. Okay, where's good old fashioned shield at? Ah, uh, here you are. Time to go get the other shield and see what we're gonna unlock inside the dining room. Say, so, I want to hear you guys' opinion. Like, how did it feel playing Resident Evil One and Two back in the day for you guys? Was it a trick for you guys, or was it hard? Like, was the, like, tank controls a bit tricky to get him hang of? Let me know in the comment section when you first play these games. Go into that room, get the actual shield, and then replace it with this one. Oh no, that's the door he broke out of. Yeah, it's <laughs> came out, he came right through there. Oh shoot! No, screw this. No, ah. Oh, 
Oh, no, not now. Nice, his head's blown off. Good. You didn't have to waste no lighter. I keep going through that door for some reason. <laughs> I don't know why I'm doing that. Of course I have it. Let's get nah, go back in the hallway. Take that. Then it's time to replace it with this one. The bootleg shield. Time into the dining room. Alright, here goes nothing. This is what I've been waiting for. What a nice little hiding thing. Got a clock. Try it. Shoot. Turn the large one. Uh, I finally figured it out. <laughs> I just realized the freaking picture. Oh my goodness, it took me this freaking long. Can't believe that. Alright, got the mansion key. What kind of key is this anyway? Oh, a sh looks like a shield key. Now I can go to the um, other doors that we couldn't access. Awesome. Let me go save real quick, so I don't have to do all this all over. I'm trying to think what rooms have the keys left. I think I'll save it in this typewriter. Now to get old fashioned typewriter. Alright, save successful. Let me go, um, check the map, see what doors are left open. That's a basement. Very right, first floor. Alright, to, to the right side, we have to unlock that. And I think in that, that trap room, that's the one where, um, let these enter. Alright guys, I'm going to end the video right here. I'll see you guys on the next one. Later.